gotta get upstairs. Before the video starts, let me just give a quick introduction in the room. I don't know if you heard, but I heard a faint noise. And of course, it was the Popo, the police. So we're gonna be doing a video a bit of everything today. There they are again. So today we're gonna do, why is there so many sirens? Are they going after the Tipos? Hmm, makes you think. Anyway, today we're just gonna be making some story times with a bit of action and drama. And also we got this toy. Wow, wow, we don't worry, it's all right. So I used to and still have this gray jumper and I hated and still hate the gray jumper only for a specific and one reason. Every time I would wear the jumper before I would wear the jumper, I would have to do a shower and with the shower, it wets your hair because the nozzle is coming from up top or in this case, which we'll talk about a bit later, a bit to the side. I'll talk about it later. But your hair would get wet, and this jumper, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I can't show you because I can't find where it was. I think it's in washing, but I'd always get, like, wet hair, and this grey jumper was made out of a type of cotton, though it always reminded me of fleece, of course. And so, I hated it! Because every time I put it on, the wet hair would go, like, into the jumper, and whenever I'd fully put it on, it'd go around the neck, and so I'd have a wet sort of, like, cotton go through. In general, though, I kind of just hated it. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I don't like you, man. But for real, though, it was all right. It kept me warm, and sometimes I would just stay in bed and just watch things on my phone. <laughs> Next story commencing on the ground so i don't know if you if you've ever seen the story but it was me and my brother or cousin brother raj bear and we were chilling out in a room he was watching a scary movie and you might have already seen it if you don't then just watch all my videos until you find the story and watch it all the way through okay you don't know group ck is a weird youtube channel but uh, another episode of the Bug Killers uh, strikes again. This time, let me bring Wally down. <laughs> this time, however, it was, um, what can I say it? It was a fly instead of a wasp. And it was uh, it happened a little bit after, but it was still, and things were relatively cold, I mean hot. I think it was like August or something. Late or, uh, or middle August. And so this one I can just vaguely remember. So it might not be the most accurate, but let's get straight into it. So in this story, I actually go downstairs because I'm upstairs and Raj is downstairs. And I'm actually in the, in the living room. However, he calls me and he's actually in the kitchen. And if you don't know, the kitchen's actually in the grandparents' house. It's like this big kitchen. And then there's this little kitchen right here. And so I go into the big kitchen and I find him on one of the, on the granite desktops. Or oh, <laughs> desktops, tabletops, right? And so I go up and I see, I go and see him, right? And he literally caught a fly inside of one of those empty, I think, kitchen towels or kitchen roll. I can't really remember. But he catched it in a uh, in one of those things, and then he caught it in a tall glass, and he tried to flush it down the sink. I do have a video of it. I can't remember if I can still find it, but. Uh, I think I might have deleted it. Sadly, might upload it to YouTube. But so we catch it, and then in, in the sink, but then we we catch it again in a tissue because it tries pouncing at us. And we're in the and then we're in the corridor now, which is one of the biggest rooms, the downstairs corridor. And we're just kind of chilling out for the most part. And then he brings scissors because his main goal is to cut the bug in half. And so he cuts the bug in half. Yes, he literally does. He literally cuts the bug in half with scissors. Then I can't really remember after that. But hey, 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 it's a nice story. Very pleasant. Next story, we're going to have to pick our Wally friend up. And we're going to have to get his hand. Because this story revolves in the bathroom. 
closing the window. Hey, Wally, what are you looking at? Ah. Wait, it's on! The shitty flush! And so this one, I'm gonna sit on the toilet. But if anything, I'm toilet vlogging. Where's the hand? Oh, reminds me of Mr. Muncho from my classroom until he died some math lesson. Yeah, that's what we're gonna be talking about. Yeah, so this one revolves around my school, though specifically my class. And I have this teacher, which I'll call by her actual name, Miss Hawthorne. So before, there used to be this uh, pencil sharpener. And since I had a pen license, which I gained in January 2021, um, I didn't really need to use it. And plus, we, we were suspected to use uh, pencils only during math. And when drawing. And so I didn't really think of Mr. Mancho as much. However, during maths, which is usually split up into two class, into two group, math groups, I was with my friend uh, Arthur and we were just in, in a different class, in a different teacher for maths. And I wasn't doing much, but it was all right because it was actually the more easier class. See, we would actually finish a bit earlier, a couple minutes, so we could basically do whatever we wanted. And me and Arthur would just mess around with our friend Daniel. And yes, these are real names! I could give your IP address right now, or your number plate. Right, so basically, we'd just chill out. However, one time, during science, during the switcheroonies, our quote-unquote table chiefs would go get the books for science and during this sammy told me a story about mr muncho which was the big uh uh big pencil sharpener and that he'd actually died one math lesson when i was with oh that's a bit of a big one one time i was just chilling out right and then all of a sudden Apparently, I didn't even know, but in the other classroom, in Mrs. Hawthorne's math group, Mr. Muncho apparently broke. Then one other kid will um, call by a different name, but only slightly a different name. Alright, and I'll just call him by his real name, Peter. He fixed it, then it got broken again, then Sammy fixed it, and it kept on going. But then Miss Hawthorne was like, alright, you know what? Throw it in the bin. Actually, that was kind of a bad representation, because she was French. And she's a uh, math and science freak. Please help me. She's a pretty, pretty good teacher. She teaches me a lot of stuff. Better than the other teachers. Nah, but for real though, she did teach us a lot of stuff right now. I'm in my fourth week of year five. All right, well, I think we should go into a different room for this next one. This one really isn't kind of a story. It's just kind of talking about something. My dad. What is going on with the screen today? So, my dad is actually one of my favourite, if not my favourite, uh, family members. And one of my favourite persons. My top five family members, even though one is kind of just a friend, but still a very good friend. I'll talk about it a little bit later. But my dad is the kind of person that's really, 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 really forgiving. To the point where it's not even, like, strict or anything. That's kind of a good thing, you know what I'm saying? Get Wally in the shot. Yeah, so basically, um, my dad, like, he'd be telling me off, right? Like, for something like... Uh, let me just set the scene real quick. Don't be rude! Actually, hold on, let me get a cap real quick. Just to add 18 hours to, I'm going to do an epic transition. Okay. Right there, and... So he'd most likely wear a cap. I mean, this cap is not the kind of cap he would wear. And even though it looks like it says Paul, it actually says Roop. But it's just the camera's flipped. So let me just set the scene. Stop being rude. Okay. Anyways, so how do you make uh, a how do you make uh, calamari? Oh well, let me tell you about it. So yeah, he's extremely forgiving. All right, let's move on to the next one. And I'm gonna keep on wearing this hat. Actually, no, I'll take it off. Yeah. Let's move into a bathroom. Yeah, here. Yeah. I just gotta find a way to set my camera. Should that work? Yeah, I think that should work. Uh, yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I'm uh, having Wally, it's because I'm babysitting him. 
like almost every day. I've been in a mental... S no, I'm just kidding. Let's talk about year five in general. The actually good class. That's because everything else, all the classes before, because I go to a I go to a school, and if you've seen by my uniform, you probably know which school I go to in some of my previous videos. But I go to Shingle Primary. I'm not telling you anything after that. But basically, um, uh, I go to uh, Year Five right now, and it's my fourth week. Hold on, let me just. I don't know if you can tell, but let me just show you the fact. Hold on, let me move the camera a little bit. Yep, there we go, there we go. Okay, where's the arm? Where's the arm? Where's the arm? Oh, there's the arm. But year three and year four were boring. Especially year four. I mean, the teacher was kind of nice, Miss Harris, but like everything else was bad. Because in year five, we can do experiments. And use the scientific method. We can literally do whatever we want in PE. Especially during the times of Friday. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But year 3, 4 or... Wait, you, you didn't know about that? Okay, let me tell you about that. So after I, I went from year 3, I came to year 4. However, that was just my year. In my class, it was called year 3, 4. It was kind of a weird name, but it just had to be named that way because I guess a lot of people were came, coming into year three and year fours were like, all right, you know what, you can share a classroom with us. And most of the time it was just boring writing. And the PE days were different. All right, let's talk about something else. Leaving this room. Coming here. Let's talk. So this is one of the most, if not the most recent story that happened. So basically, oh, 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 I didn't actually eat it. So this happened uh, just yesterday. So this video is being filmed on a Saturday. So this happened on Friday. Another school story. So it was me and my friend Jonathan, one of my BFFs, along with Arthur and Sammy. And so we were just chilling out. And then, like, we were playing hockey, and I didn't really have any interest in hockey. Oh, okay. But he did. He didn't really know how to play the game. We were kind of the same level, because we both like the country of Canada. Check out one of my other videos, like, introverts versus extroverts, to see what I mean by that. But so, basically, what happened... Oh, my goodness, I'm saying basically so much. <laughs> Please don't disqualify me, Miss Hawthorne. But me me and him were just playing around with two other girls. Uh, I think it was Ruby and Grace, I think. But so we were just playing around. However, um, there was another teacher in the classroom that would uh, just be like a secondary teacher. And kind of, not secondary as in the school, but like, she'd be like a helper teacher. And she usually just helps a kid named Clark for some sort of special ability or something. But basically what happened was... They there was some sort of incident happening with happening with another group that ha that was like right next to, that was playing right next to her, like someone got hurt or something, and they were all gathering around except me and Jonathan. And since we were playing with a tennis ball, not an actual puck, we were kind of just messing around with the hockey sticks. And they weren't real ones; they were just kind of plastic ones, a kind of hard plastic. But for the real part, it wasn't much, mate. And because we were only in year five, I mean. Aww. You already know. We could get dangerous because lots of people start hitting the ball like super fast. If it was a puck, someone could die. But anyways, me and him were just playing around. We didn't know what to do, and and then when the when the lesson ended, we were we were trying to pr we were trying to talk to the teacher like, bruh, we didn't learn anything. But, I mean, it was nearly home time, so, honestly, we didn't really complain. It was home time, and it's a fatter day. Next story. And, yes, I'm always going to be doing these sort of cool transitions. Uh, shall we do it here? Okay. I'm just going to work. I think we'll just do it like this, right? Tiny green boy. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see one of my friends, Tiny Green Boy. Not socially, just in YouTube. I just like his videos. Also, subscribe to Microscopic Brown Boy. Because they're just good. I'm not sure about Gigantic Blue Boy. 
We'll see. Yeah, I devoted this entire section to you, so you better give me some sort of thing. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's better to receive than to give. I mean, better than to, to give than receive. Christmas is becoming is becoming boring, man. Before we'd actually used to get Christmas gifts, and we'd actually used to get toys in the crackers. Now every time we'd open it, it'd only have like a small joke. It isn't even a dad joke, which means it's terrible. I won't even give anything besides like a sticker before he actually used to give toys. Same in McDonald's, things are becoming super cheap now. Right man, just, 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 just why? Look at me. Eh. See, even the dinosaurs sad. Even the dinosaurs. <laughs> we must get away. What do you expect from me? I hate flies as well as wasps. Final story before we go, and probably one of the longest ones. So this happened when I was taking YouTube a lot more seriously, and back when I actually did educational content, not the uh, vlogging content I do now. Before Roop and Tom. It was, I think, Planets Explained. That's a long gone series now. Uh, I thought we were going to do season three. Nah, we ain't doing season three today. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't do it. I don't want to. Yeah, I know, I know, but anyways. There was this one video, which was Planet Explained, I think it was Neptune, and I, and it was Uranus and Neptune, but specifically on the Uranus part, I think. So, there was actually, I actually took multiple tries to take this video, that video. Why? Because there was a stupid darn fly in the way. Another thing sort of happened in my, in my parallel universe theory. It's all fake. At least to me, it was only one universe. But basically, that I was filming outside, which knew, and since it was in the summer and it was beaming hot, so I was literally had to be in the shade. And of course, the flies had to join me. Here, let me show you my garden. I'm not gonna go outside, of course. I'm just gonna show you if I can. The sun's quite bright, so yeah. Whoa. <coughs> Going down the stairs. Da, 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 da. So if you can see, you can see that there's this little barbecue thing right about there. I was filming there. And there's lots of cobwebs and stuff there. Especially the flies. Because that's the only shade. So yeah, as you can imagine, it's not very nice to be there. That's why I don't normally film either in the garden now because of how many times there's flies buzzing around and messing up my recording so chat hello people and today is and i also don't film in the conservatory why well because i mean just look at the conservatory why just look at it man look at it look at it with your own eyes you can see the camera on my phone, which I'm sorry to say is an Android, but it doesn't matter, okay? But basically, whenever I'm trying to film and everything, like, he's, I'm just gonna stand here, and at some point the light's gonna change. And I don't want the light to change. Oh! So, yeah. Fridge. Also, if you really want to see it, you could see. I've also got all these pictures here. Oh, look at this! So the closest thing you'll ever get to a house tour. Here we have the kitchen. As you can see, it's quite wobbly. <laughs> we also got some stuff over here. It's the root table. The only thing that's ruining the rootness is that little picture right there. But we want to keep it root. Can we move it somewhere else, please? Like, but maybe over there at least or something. I want to peep it me. The only exception that doesn't have me in it is the anniversary between me and my dad. Not what my, my mum and my dad. Over here, you'll see the living room. And this is in my house, of course, not my grandparents' house. My dad's sleeping in a this little bit of rooms, so yeah. Don't want to wake him up. Oh, he's just lying down. Personal life, you know what I'm saying? Let's go back up the stairs. Let's go back up. And I want to make this minute exact video exactly 20 minutes. So we're just going to end with me staring at the camera.
bye bye